Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the noise of the world, drowning in a sea of thoughts and information? Do you find it hard to make decisions or stay focused because your mind seems to be running in a thousand directions at once? Well, you're not alone. We live in an era where our minds are constantly bombarded with new data, new tasks, and new decisions to make. This can cloud our thinking, make us feel stressed and indecisive. But what if I told you that there's a way to cut through this noise, a way to think clearly and sharply, just like the blade of a samurai's sword? In this video, we'll delve into the teachings of a legendary samurai and philosopher from feudal Japan. His name is Miyamoto Musashi, renowned not only for his prowess in battle, but also for his clear strategic thought process. So stick with us as we navigate the path to clear thinking, guided by the wisdom of one of Japan's greatest samurais. Together, we'll learn how to slice through the fog of confusion and make our minds our greatest ally. We dive deep into the mind of Musashi, a warrior who was not just a master of the sword, but also a master of the mind. His work, the Book of Five Rings, is considered a classic, not only in the field of martial arts, but also in business, strategy, and personal development. Musashi believed in the power of the present moment, often emphasizing the importance of full awareness. For him, the path to clear thinking was through eliminating distraction and focusing entirely on the task at hand. His philosophy was simple, yet profound. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. This philosophy wasn't just about literal vision, but metaphorical insight as well. By focusing his mind, Musashi was able to perceive subtleties and details that others overlooked. He advocated for a mind free of preconceptions and biases, a mind open to seeing reality as it is. Musashi also taught the principle of suijetsu, or water moon, a concept about the reflection of the moon on water. It represents the idea that while the environment around us may be constantly changing, our minds should be like calm, undisturbed water, reflecting reality without distortion. But how did Musashi apply these principles? How did his clear, focused mind guide him in life and in battle? He stressed the concept of Munin Muso, a state of no-mindness or empty mind. It's not about having no thoughts, but rather about not clinging to thoughts or being distracted by them. It's a state of mind that is highly aware, yet detached, ready to respond appropriately to any situation. Musashi's philosophy also emphasizes adaptability and resilience. He wrote, you should not have a favorite weapon. To become over-familiar with one weapon is as much a fault as not knowing it sufficiently well. This reflects Musashi's belief in flexible thinking, the ability to adapt and respond to different situations without being stuck in rigid patterns of thought. Let's delve deeper into these principles and explore how we can incorporate Musashi's philosophy into our own lives to think more clearly. In Musashi's philosophy, the concept of Mushin stands as a central pillar. It is a Zen term, often translated as mind without mind or no mind. It's a state of mental clarity, free from thoughts, emotions, and distractions that might cloud judgment. In the context of a samurai, Mushin is a state of total awareness yet freedom from unnecessary thoughts, allowing them to react swiftly and appropriately in battle. But this concept isn't just limited to ancient warriors. In our modern lives, Mushin can be interpreted as a state where we are fully immersed in the present moment, unburdened by worries of the past or anxieties of the future. Practicing Mushin doesn't mean to stop thinking or to empty the mind completely, but rather to clear it from clutter. It's about letting thoughts and perceptions pass without attachment and judgment. This way, you are not carried away by subjective emotions or biases, but can see the situation for what it truly is. This clear-sightedness is crucial in decision-making. When you are in a state of mushin, you're able to perceive things objectively and make decisions that are not tainted by emotional reactivity or rigid thought patterns. It helps foster clarity of thought and a sense of calm, even amidst chaos. The practice of Mushin is a journey of self-discipline, mindfulness, and continual learning. When it comes to clear thinking, Musashi left us with an arsenal of strategies and principles that we can apply today. In his renowned text, The Book of Five Rings, he elaborates on tactics not only relevant for swordsmanship, but also applicable to life and decision-making in general. One principle Musashi strongly advocated for is knowing the way broadly. This principle means that by understanding one thing deeply, you can understand many things. By mastering a single way, 
you can apply the wisdom gained to other paths in life. For us, this might mean becoming an expert in our chosen field, but also being open to knowledge and wisdom from other areas. This broad understanding allows us to think more clearly with a more comprehensive and holistic view. Another core tenet of Musashi's philosophy is the strategy of no sword. In swordsmanship, it's the idea of defeating an opponent without drawing your own sword. But in life, it can be seen as solving problems without confrontation. This non-confrontational approach encourages us to think critically and strategically about potential challenges, aiming to solve problems in the most efficient and peaceful way possible. Musashi also emphasized the importance of perceiving that which cannot be seen with the eye. In a practical sense, this means going beyond the surface level, questioning things and looking deeper into situations to understand their true nature. It promotes critical thinking, intuition and foresight, enabling us to make more informed and clear-headed decisions. Do nothing useless, another one of Musashi's teachings, encourages us to be mindful of our actions and to eliminate unnecessary distractions. By cutting out what's not useful, we can focus more on what's truly important, thereby thinking more clearly and purposefully. In essence, Musashi's strategies for clear thinking revolve around gaining broad knowledge, practicing non-confrontational problem-solving, looking beyond the obvious, and focusing on what's truly essential. These principles might have been articulated centuries ago by a samurai, but their wisdom holds valuable insights for our modern lives. In our daily lives, applying Musashi's principles of clear thinking can lead to more effective decision-making, better problem-solving, and improved emotional management. For instance, knowing the way broadly encourages us to be lifelong learners, staying open and curious about the world around us. We can strive to expand our knowledge and understanding, not just within our field of expertise, but across diverse areas. This approach can provide us with a broader perspective, enabling more nuanced and well-rounded decisions. The strategy of no sword can be applied to conflict resolution and negotiation situations. Instead of confronting problems head on, we can try to seek alternative solutions that are peaceful, efficient, and beneficial for all parties involved. In personal relationships, this might mean finding a compromise instead of arguing, and at work, it could involve creative problem solving. Perceiving what cannot be seen encourages us to question things, to not accept everything at face value. We can develop this skill by staying curious, asking more questions, and actively seeking to understand deeper meanings and implications. This approach can help us in many areas of life, from deciphering people's motivations to understanding complex problems at work. Lastly, Musashi's instruction to do nothing useless serves as a reminder to stay focused and prioritize what's truly important. In today's world, filled with distractions, we can apply this principle by being more mindful of how we spend our time and energy. Whether it's cutting down on unnecessary tasks, limiting time spent on social media, or focusing more on our health and relationships, this principle can help us declutter our minds for clearer thinking. By practicing these principles, we can start cultivating the art of clear thinking as advocated by Musashi, ultimately leading to a more purposeful and peaceful life. Adopting Musashi's strategies for clear thinking can have a profound impact on multiple facets of our lives. For starters, clear thinking enhances our decision-making process. It allows us to cut through the noise and focus on what is truly essential, leading to choices that are more aligned with our goals and values. Similarly, Clear thinking improves our problem-solving abilities. By seeing a situation from various perspectives and understanding its underlying factors, we're more equipped to find effective and innovative solutions. But the benefits aren't limited to these cognitive skills. Clear thinking can also help reduce anxiety and stress. By understanding things as they are, not as we fear them to be, we can manage our emotions better and navigate through life's ups and downs with greater serenity. Furthermore, clear thinking leads to greater effectiveness in our actions. As Musashi emphasizes in his teachings, understanding a situation deeply helps us respond appropriately and efficiently. This principle applies whether we're strategizing in a business meeting, navigating interpersonal relationships, or even learning a new skill.
However, it's important to remember that clear thinking as taught by Musashi isn't a quick fix or an instant skill. It's a product of continuous mental discipline, consistent practice, and conscious effort to stay present and focused. Musashi's success as a renowned samurai and his wisdom as a philosopher weren't accidental. They were the outcomes of his disciplined mind and strategic thinking honed through years of practice. By focusing on our minds and working to eliminate distractions, we can start developing the same mental discipline. We can practice mindfulness, stay present in our daily activities, and train ourselves to see things as they are, not as we imagine or fear them to be. This mental discipline is the first and most important step towards clear strategic thinking. As we conclude, it's clear that the art of thinking clearly, as espoused by Miyamoto Musashi, is more than a mere strategy. It's a philosophy, a way of life. From making decisions to solving problems, managing emotions, and carrying out our actions effectively, clear thinking permeates every aspect of our lives. The path to clear thinking is not always easy. It demands discipline, mindfulness, and a deep understanding of ourselves and the world around us. There is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Everything exists. Seek nothing outside of yourself. Miyamoto Musashi